Welcome back to another episode of Good Time Bikes. And on this episode, I think this is the time that I finally surpass 40 miles an hour. Last time I tried it, I was out at Starved Rock and I hit 39 miles an hour on my 1966 Schwinn Stingray twice. But this time, I think I'll be able to get past 40 miles an hour because I'm out in Galena. And I believe that's like the hilliest or most elevation in Illinois, as flat as Illinois is. But I'm about uh, two and a half, three hours northwest where I'm from. So it was quite a drive to get up here, but I think it's gonna be worth it. And already I took my 1995 Schwinn Moab down the hill and that got into the low 40s. I hit 43 miles an hour on it already. And that was just a test run to see how it would go. And unfortunately for me, the road is not that smooth. It's got a lot of bumps in it and I don't like that, but we're gonna have to go through with it anyway and see what happens. And last time I mentioned I have an Evil Knievel style helmet. I was wrong. Somebody in the comments corrected me and it's actually a Easy Rider style of helmet. So I thought that was a fun fact. And also, if you look to my right, you'll see a yellow sign and that says 15% grade. So yeah, this is steep, but let's get to it. Okay, here we go. I don't think I'll have to pedal much for this. I'm already 16, 18, 21. I got a car behind me, but I'll probably be going faster than him anyway. 33, 34, 39. Forty! Forty-one! <laughs> Forty again! Forty-one! Forty-two! Holy cow! Forty-one! Forty-three! I got forty-three miles an hour! I'm at 41, 40, 39. <laughs> There's a car behind me right now. <laughs> oh, this is phenomenal. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this guy pass. Woo! <laughs> oh, I gotta do that again. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I'll see you back at the top. Okay, here we go for pass number two. First attempt was a success. And here we go with the second one. I'm gonna see if I can do this without hitting the brakes, because I'll admit I hit the brakes last time. See if I can avoid doing that this time. And you know, I went skydiving a few weeks ago, and I don't know which is more of a rush, I'm at 36 miles an hour, 37, 38, but this has got to be a close second to skydiving in my opinion. <laughs> 42. Boy, there's uh, plenty of bumps in this road when you're in the upper 30s, low 40s. 38. I'm getting tucked now. 39. Boy, there's a big bump. Forty. <laughs> Forty-one. <laughs> Forty. What a rush. No cars behind me this time. I'm going to stop a little sooner. Oof. Those 50 year old brakes sound great. <laughs> it's a long walk back. This is about, I think it's a little bit less than three quarters of a mile. And climbing back up that hill, I gotta walk it because I'm only on a two speed <laughs> with this uh, Stingray Deluxe. So it's uh, rather laborious, that's for sure. <laughs> that was a good one. I think I'll go for another pass and I'll see you back at the top in a bit. 
Okay, back at the top, let's give it another go. This is pass number three. I'm gonna try to focus up and see if I could maybe outdo myself for the last couple of runs. Thirty-three. Thirty-six. Forty-one. There we go. Forty-three. Forty. Okay, <laughs> I think I got 43 on that one. I don't think I'm going to see 44. That's okay, 43 miles an hour on a 20-inch Stingray. <laughs> I think that's, that's pretty good. And I could go into some crazy tucks. I've seen a lot of different techniques. A lot of things are illegal if you're in a uh, road bike race where guys actually put their belly on their seat and they put their legs straight out, kind of like a plank formation. And even if I could do that, cause I got a, I got a sissy bar in the way. So it's not like that's much of a possibility for me. But even if I was able to do that, that's uh, rather dangerous in this situation. Cause even when I picked up my feet off the pedals, I felt the, uh, I felt like a lot of my uh, uh, top heavy. I felt very top heavy and that was not a very uh, good situation or a situation I want to be in. So I quickly put my feet back on the pedals, but I think I'm going to give this another go. One more pass just for fun. I think I'll set up the GoPro on a chest mount just for a different view. I'll see you back at the top. Okay. Now that's what I call a successful day, 43 miles an hour on this 66 Stingray. In the first and second passes, I felt a little bit shaky, I'll admit, but the third and fourth pass, I started to get a lot more comfortable. And once I was even hanging out around 40 miles an hour, it seemed to me at the moment that it was no big deal, so long as I wasn't hitting any bumps, because that was a fairly bumpy road, and the flat spots, I'll say, I felt very comfortable around 40 miles an hour. So that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed making the video and having a great ride. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep on watching Good Time Bikes, sponsored by Richard's Bicycles. I'll see you next time.